again. Founder of Wigit Nigeria. Wigit Nigeria recycles old, worn out hairs and weaves into brand new wigs and produces brand new wigs using locally sourced raw materials. Wigit was born out of a need for more affordable beautification option to reduce the importation of wigs, promote the use of Nigerian made wigs, products generally and to create jobs for young women between the ages of 18 and say 35. In some cases, older. I started wig it from my room at home. I made my first wig in my room and I took pictures of it and put on social media and people began to order. The orders were trickling in slowly but surely it began to increase with time. And most people thought that I was ungrateful because I was turning down job opportunities and I was determined to stick to entrepreneurship and to grow with it into a venture that was worth investing in. The Nigerian wig market is worth $300 million and 90% of the wigs circulating in the market are imported wigs, mostly from China, Venezuela, India. Most people are unaware of how good and how long-lasting locally made wigs are. And due to the importation costs, these imported wigs are highly expensive and mostly available to the high class in society. Due to our use of locally sourced materials like our caps that we produce, um, the cost of production is really low and our products end up being very affordable. We have a class of wigs for each pocket size, the high class, the low class, the middle class. Everyone can afford a wig at Wigit Nigeria. Most people were doubting that I would be successful at this. I became more determined to prove them wrong. Six months into the existence of Wigit, I entered into a competition called the African Entrepreneurship Award Competition. And it was a competition for capital to expand my business. I qualified as one of the top 50 entrepreneurs with the most significant and sustainable impact to create jobs and improve lives in Africa. This was very encouraging for me and it showed that despite how small I started, there were people, organizations that saw the potential in Wigit. So it moved me to continue to do what I was doing and to get better at it. A year after the birth of Wigit, I organized my first skill acquisition program to train individuals into professional wig makers because the demand for wigs is very high. Like I said, the Nigerian wig market is worth $300 million. Um, the market comprises of about 4.8 million individuals, which is 11% of the women in Nigeria. Our studies show that every year, each of these 4.8 individuals would buy or recycle at least three wigs. That's why the Nigerian wig market is worth that high. And with such demand, I would need a team, definitely. One person can't handle a market. So I began to train individuals into professional wig makers. We started with Wigit Port Harcourt. We had nine participants. They graduated and became part of the team. We went on to train over 150 women in seven different states in Nigeria into professional wig makers. The trainings were Wigit Oweri, Wigit Uyo, Wigit Calabar, Wigit Abuja, Wigit Lagos, Wigit Port Harcourt, and Wigit Asaba. So far, we intend to train more in other, other states. This is to have our labor or workforce ready whenever we're ready to expand. So over the course of 2017 and 2018, I continued with these trainings. That was when they were going on. And then at some point, I raised enough money to set up Wigit Nigeria Production and Recycling Center in Port Harcourt. 
Um, we started really small. I mean, the place was really tiny, empty. I had a lot of people coming and and laugh at the place and all. But I saw the big picture, so I kept on going. Gradually, we kept making more money, growing organically, and equipping the place with more things, more tools that we needed. And today, the space is even too small for the work we do for the team to stay in and work. In 2019, I entered into the Sony Lumelu Entrepreneurship Funding Scheme, and I was chosen as one of the beneficiaries. We were awarded $5,000 to expand our business. And from 2019 to today, we're in January 2020, we have paid for and we're setting up our production center at a bigger space, still in Port Harcourt. And we're also setting up our first branch, Wigit Calabar. It's been an awesome journey, very tasking, very challenging, but it's been interesting and God has been so faithful. Now, um, I've had some people ask me how I managed to use Wigit Nigeria to attract investment opportunities because some people, actually most people think your business has to be top notch or something very high class to attract investment opportunities. But the truth is I'm just a regular booker eating, bathroom slippers wearing, God fearing young Nigerian woman, just like anybody out there. And you don't need to go to any business school or graduate tops in your class or anything to be seen as successful at what you do. You don't need any verification or any top class degree to get people to want to invest in your business. Truth is, anybody can sell sand to the beach as long as they know their onions. Just be ready to put in the work and you watch your business grow beyond your imagination. So I intend to set up a training for young women in Papa Court that would help them get their businesses investment ready. What the is wrong with me? Why do I keep falling for this kind of version? What the is wrong with me? Can't you see my love in your life? Sugar.